I'm delighted to be here today because this new biomass plant, which I hear can cut emissions on this site by a quarter from switching from coal to wood energy, is what we would like to see more of in New Zealand. I applaud Fonterra's efforts in reducing emissions, Fonterra's goal to reach net zero emissions across all its operations by 2050 and its plan not to commission any new coal-fired boilers from 2030 will be important for New Zealand's transition to a low emissions economy. Bioenergy, including wood energy, will make a significant contribution to our transition here in New Zealand. And as you already know, our government is developing a process heat action plan which can include actions for in increasing the uptake of wood energy amongst other technologies. This is, I think, one of our strategic advantages in the 21st century as a country, our ability to produce renewable energy. According to Scion, our forestry research organisation, life cycle emissions from wood energy are only about 2-4% to of those from the use of coal and gas for the same amount of energy. Collaboration between the government, industry and communities are key to us achieving our vision for a low emissions economy and a low emissions country. While the conversion is good for Nelson, the benefits will reach much further afield. We'll take what we learn here and apply to our longer term co-firing strategy for other boilers across the country. Brightwater shows what can be possible. To you and your team, uh, congratulations on this. As the Minister said, ECA is just but a part in the equation. Uh, and what is critical for us is to be able to work with industries where the potential around technology demonstrations or just the commitment and the risk taking that's involved with certain projects is diminished by the involvement of ECA. Because we have a significant challenge in front of us to convert particularly New Zealand's agricultural processes off fossil fuels and onto renewables. Fonterra's achievement here at the plant shows that co-firing uh, co on a commercial basis is a viable option to reduce our emissions for our 2030 and 2050 targets. By this plant here burning 25% or more of wood energy co-firing, it means a whole 2,000 tonne less wood fuel potentially to fuel forest fires. It means 2,000 tonne less residue to create erosion in our forestry. It's 2,000 tonne less residue to go into the waterways and create silt and slips. It's 2,000 tonne less residue that could damage our freshwater ecosystems. So as New Zealand's wood energy suppliers, as would continue to work alongside forward-facing organisations such as Fonterra to help change the economy into a resourceful, renewable and low emission economy. We've identified key plants and prime locations across the country that we could convert resourcefully to wood energy. And biomass is a proven technology and with a long-term secure mapped supply strategy and could drastically cut our emissions in the next five years. Fonterra have a key role to play with New Zealand transitioning to a low emissions economy and as this site demonstrates that as an organisation Fonterra committed to renewable and resourceful energy sources so thank you very much.